In this video, we're going to preview Microsoft Loop to see if it's a solution to your note taking needs at work, or is it still a work in progress? I will share five features of Microsoft Loop and how I will structure Loop using Digital Organizer Blueprint. I see users using Loop in three ways at work. Loop provides a space for those involved in research or continuous learning to categorize and review information from various sources. Loop can be used to manage small projects where all relevant information from documents to timelines can be organized in one place. Loop can plan and execute meetings or workshops and capture your notes. Let's get started with building a dashboard. A dashboard will help give an overview of tasks I have, projects I work on and access to critical information. I use it in the morning stand up and throughout the day. In the dashboard, I track a list of tasks I have to complete throughout the day. One of the significant improvements of Loop over OneNote is the task list feature. When you add tasks and assign them to yourself, it will appear in your Microsoft To Do app. Let's review the dashboard I built in Loop and how I incorporated the task list. Users can add pages using plus button. Once you have created it, you can change the title, add an icon and change the cover. To add components, you can type forward slash and choose the component you want to add. If you select task list from the component options and then you add a task and assign it a date and user, it will be added to the Microsoft to do. This is currently only available to enterprise users. One of the drawback currently is it shows all the tasks in the task list rather than letting me filter to hide completed tasks. In my dashboard, I've added links to a project I'm working on and access to notes I use regularly. Adding a link is still painful and I was hoping to add slash forward with a note name would have been a better implementation. Next let's look at the inbox. The inbox is where I capture notes before processing them and saving them into the PARA folder structure. Even though OneNote did have templates, the new ones in Loop look more modern and have extra functionality. The ones I have been impressed are one-to-one -one meeting, allows you to capture details from meetings, project brief, allows you to add details of a new project and assign tasks, issue tracker, allows you to list issues and assign users to resolve them. Let's have a look at these as well as the inbox. Users can create a new page underneath another page using the three dots and selecting a new sub page. From here, users can assign a template to use. There are many types of templates to choose from, but I would like to have the ability to add my custom templates to this list. At the moment, I created a set of template pages that I saved on the resource page. Remember to like this video if you found it helpful. Let's have a look at the new Kanban component. Kanban project notes are more than just random memos or to-do lists. They are a structured way to capture the details of your project. They help break projects into manageable chunks and keep track of tasks. A Kanban board is a visual tool used to track and manage tasks. It typically consists of columns representing different stages of a process, e.g. to do, doing, done. Tasks are represented by cards that move from one column to another, visually depicting the workflow. Three reasons why I like using Kanbans for managing tasks. Kanban boards offer a clear visual representation of your tasks and projects. This visibility makes it easier to understand workloads and priorities. By limiting the number of tasks in the in progress column, Kanban naturally encourages a focus on finishing current tasks before starting new ones, reducing the load and increasing productivity. Unlike some productivity systems, Kanban boards can be easily adapted to suit changing priorities and workflows, making them ideal for dynamic nature of personal knowledge management. Previously, I used to create notes with sections where I moved text between sections. Now Loop has a Kanban built in. Let's have a look. I have a sub page for each project I work on in the project folder. Typing forward slash Kanban brings up the Kanban component. Selecting allows it to generate a Kanban. From here, you can add or make changes to the groups, add cards and move them between different groups. Additionally, Loop will also have Trello or Jira integration, which means you'll be able to add these into Loop. Next, the most significant change I'm looking forward to is AI. Microsoft Copilot is an AI-powered assistant designed to enhance productivity and information. It has been integrated into Microsoft Loop to help users become more efficient. I do not have access to it in my preview, 
but I'm looking forward to using it for the following features. Brainstorming ideas. This will help contribute to meetings to develop ideas and identify solutions. Summarizing pages. This will help break down research papers and meeting transcripts. Generating loop pages depending on your needs. This will help generate custom loop pages based on what has been learnt about you. Let's have a look at the area section of my Microsoft loop where I will use it the most. In the area sections, I keep my notes relating to my roles and responsibilities that are not project related. This will include sections for operations, which has my notes for day-to-day -day running my team, section for human resources, where I keep my notes for team members, HR meetings, or new hires. Competitor analysis looks at what the industry is doing and products and services our competitors are offering. Network has my notes on external contacts that I keep in touch with. And finally, my career compass, which has my notes about career goals and career plans. Subscribe if you like techniques and tools and hacks for note-taking on Microsoft Loop. Next, let's look at note-taking. Microsoft has added great functionality to help with note taking, which will benefit my research. New features that I'm looking forward to are forward slash shortcut to access different components quickly, a table of contents to generate an overview of my notes. Tables with different column types help me structure my data. Let's have a look. Many of these new features are activated by the forward slash. The table of contents options generates a list of all the headings in the page, making it easier to jump quickly within a page. I hope this will be expanded to the children pages. Once you inserted a table, you can sort, filter, and hide columns. Each column can be set to different data types. I think the label option will help me tag relevant columns. The Moji Picker adds a bit of color to your pages. Adding links to files can be done using the at symbol. Coupled with integration with Microsoft 365, Microsoft Security and Compliance, and access across devices, Microsoft Loop is a great tool to start taking notes at your workplace if they are heavy into Microsoft software. So take a chance and try it out. If not, there are many great products to try which are more polished to use. Thanks for watching this video. Check out this video on Ample Notes.